it's literally things that I go through. And I think that when if people look inwardly the way you have been telling me to, like, look inwardly, I think that a lot of like what we go through from stress of social media can be fixed without having, you know, like people are taking pills or like people are doing like are taking things that they probably shouldn't and they should like slow it down like give some time for themselves instead of like try all the all these new products like you don't need to um spend a fortune to get your health back like it's very simple you know yeah um jordan peterson's daughter yeah Yeah. (laughs) she has her own podcast i learned yeah she uh she went on to Michael Franzizis. Oh. He's a big mob guy. But anyways, that's not the point. Like stuff like that, just exposing different worlds. I think Michael Franzizis is so cool and that he's sharing his experience. Yeah. So, so she went on to his podcast and she talked about her experience. Her family has uh, depression, like severe depression. That's hard. And she, she gave out the stats. She said... 50% of Americans were on some type of anti-depression today. Yeah, literally. Yeah. I read this too in my count like in front of my counselor's office. Like I back then when I was in high school, it was one third of Canadians. That's was that's in crazy. Depression. Yeah, and, and that stat stuck with me for so long. Like I'm just more critical about my mental health because I know that it can go sideways real quick. And that's why when you said, you know, they have depression, like it's hard. Like there, it's not something that you can necessarily control even. Yeah. But um, those of you who are interested, check out that episode. I think it's really good, but I would just give you a summarized version of it is that she was diagnosed since a kid she struggled with mental health all the time. She was given pills. She was, it was so bad. She had to do a hip replacement. Like it affected her physical. Mm. And uh, she had weeks and months where she couldn't just get out of bed. It was really bad. And then they keep giving her more and more pills and it never made it better. It made it worse. Yeah. And eventually what cured her is her researching by herself about diet and she changed her her diet and she cured herself. It's it's not about, you know, diet or not, but my point is a lot of these mental health issues are triggered by something else that has nothing to do with taking pills. Yeah. So, like, there are legit you know, chemical imbalance or whatnot that you have to take pills, but I definitely don't think it's this big of percentage of population. They're, they're like, try to, like, if taking pills is the only way you can function, take pills, but at the same time, seek out other ways to improve yourself, you know, and don't just accept like, oh, this is how, how my mind is. I have to take pills. No, question everything. What did you eat? What did you drink? What do you, how many hours do you spend on your phone? What apps yeah. do you use? You like, know, all of these play a part. Like, what do you consume in social media? Like, what are you watching? I think that was a main thing for me. Like, you called me out. You're like, you're scrolling Instagram for no reason. Like, why do you do that? And then you look at other, you know, people or things and then, like, fantasize about, like, it literally doesn't matter. Like, you're always like, so what does that have to do with your life? 